Hello, my name is Bartosz and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how sound attenuation works in Unreal Engine. Okay, uh, I have my buzzing fly loop sound. Let's create sound cue from it. We have it here. We can open it. If we go to our wave player, we can enable looping so it loop indefinitely save it and we can just put it here let's put it exactly in the spot okay and um, if we select this buzzing fly queue in our level and go to activate activation uh, by default it is auto activate so we can hear it and it's looping, so it goes infinitely. If we deactivate auto activation, we can't hear shit. So let's leave it activate. Um, to be exact, we have to set it up exactly as uh, the position of our character. Our character is uh, his. Um, Z axis is 266, so let's set it up our sound cue at the same height. As you can see, I plug uh, the print screen, print string to the distance to the sound cue. So now it's almost nothing. When I go farther from it, it's getting bigger. Here is 1000. Okay, we can hear our sound, but we can't hear any attenuation uh, on it. So we have to add it. We can do it in many places. We can do it here. If we select our output on sound queue, here is attenuation settings. We can overwrite this attenuation and now we have access to attenuation. But we don't have to do it here. We can do it, for example, here. If we select our uh, queue, which is in the level, we can set up attenuation here. We have to overwrite and we can set up it here. Um, in this case, if we set up attenuation here, uh, the plus of it is when we duplicate the sound, we can have different attenuation settings here on this sound and different on this sound. But we can do it in another way. So let's disable this override attenuation and let's create our sound attenuation. Go to sounds, sound attenuation, create. Let's go back to the start and name it fly. It's very important to name your stuff in Unreal, trust me. And now we can apply the sound attenuation here. And now everything, we, if we open our sound attenuation, that's what we have. And every settings we set up here, it's going to be automatically on our sound because we set up it here. So for a start, what we have? We have attenuate. So let's disable Specialize for now and let's leave Attenuate. As we can see, let's look at our level from the top. Uh, we have inner circle and outer circle. For our purpose, outer circle is bigger than our level, so let's make it smaller, 1000 for example. As you can see, it is it looks like this, but our inner circle should be smaller, smaller as well. So let's like, let's make it 200. Okay. Uh, what does what does it mean? It means that uh, when we are inside this circle, so when we are close to the sound, we are hear the sound with maximum volume. But if we cross this line, this circle, and go farther from the sound, the sound's getting quiet, 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 more quiet, till we reach 
uh, this outer circle which is set up to 1000 and after this circle we can't hear anything but if we go back uh, towards our sound and we cross this line we are getting we are starting to hear sound louder 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 till we reach our inner circle and from this point to the center of the sound we are hear our sound at the full volume so let's check it out yep it works after uh, when the distance is bigger than 1000 I can't hear anything but when I'm getting closer and closer and closer I'm starting to hear our fly we have uh, many settings here, um, our distance algorithm could be linear, could be logarithmic and many other stuff. I think the best one is natural sound, uh, which sounds like this. I think this one is the best setup because it is really natural but for our purpose let's leave it linear for now uh, okay we have our inner radius uh, set up to 200 our uh, outer radius set up to 1000 let's go further uh, specialize if we put it on we can start here our sound now from left, left speaker because we have it on the left side now from right speaker because we have it on the right side and this is our specialization but the problem with it is that when, when we are in the center of the sound and when we move it flips from the one speaker to another this is just one. We can change it. Fortunately, there is something like non specialized radius. We can set it up to 200, so exactly the same as our inner, inner radius for sound attenuation. So it means that when we are in this circle, which we set up to 200, we can't hear specialized sound. It will always be at the center. Let's find out how it does sound. You see, when I'm in the spot, I can hear the sound exactly the same from both speakers. But when I go outside the 200 distance, the specialization begins to work. Okay, what do we have next? The next very nice thing is attenuate with low pass filter. Low pass filter means that uh, when we are farther from the sound, we can't hear higher frequencies. So it cuts off the higher frequencies uh, from our sound. So let's enable this and let's set up the minimum um, radius the same as our uh, volume radius and maximum the same as our outer volume radius and here we have frequency um, this is set up uh, default by uh, to 20,000 Hertz this is the highest frequency human ear can hear uh, so it means that when we are uh, in, uh, when our distance from our sound source is 200, uh, basically low pass filter doesn't work because he cuts only above the 20,000 Hz and 20,000 Hz is the high top of the frequency in the sound. But when we uh, go uh, to, uh, when, we, when our distance we're gonna be 1000, uh, units from the sound uh, we can set it up this value to for example 500 Hertz but if you want to hear it correctly let's set up our volume distance to bigger so we can hear it how it works okay 
Now we can hear the sound cool. But now, when we are farther from it, we can hear only the very low frequencies. But if we go closer to the sound, there are more high frequencies on it. Uh, maybe 500 is a little bit too much. Let's set it up to 1000. Yes, and we can also set it up our attenuation volume to 1000, so the same as the low pass filter. And also we can go back to our natural attenuation uh, algorithm. Yeah, I think that sounds cool. There is some more settings of course here. There is occlusion, uh, there is uh, listener focus but um, it's only apply when you have a uh, stereo file. We have mono file, so we don't care about it. Okay, that's the basics about sound attenuation. Uh, you can download this buzzing uh, fly sound in the link below the video. And uh, see you again, bye.